What's going on guys? I'm Shane, welcome to Spare Change. If you're into audio and video gear, or want to keep up with the highest quality movies at home, like 4K Blu-rays, consider subscribing for new weekly content. In for a review, we have Robin Hood on 4K Blu-ray. I won't be getting into any plot details, but he does steal from the rich and gives to the poor. I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and audio quality. Now for some tech specs. The movie was shot in 8K. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated PG-13. Runtime is 116 minutes. Aspect ratio, 239 by 1. Yes, there are black bars in this one too. So this movie was shot in 8K and it does indeed look very nice. Details in well-lit scenes are crispy and clean. It doesn't quite have that ultra sterile cleanliness that you may see on some movies like Billy Lynn, but it's pretty close for the most part. It does have a touch of softness to it that gives it a cinematic look. Facial close-ups revealed tons of pores, wrinkles, and eyeliner. The material texture on clothing was clearly visible from cotton suits, worn leather jackets, and fur coats. Background elements were also finely rendered as seen in Robin's ruined estate. Stonework with all the crevices and chips, dirt and debris scattered about the floor, burnt textures of woodwork all had excellent tangibility. Now, some of the lower lit scenes did look softer at times, as did many of the flyover shots of the forest. It wasn't an eyesore or anything, but I did notice it more in my projector than I did on my television. Now, this is supposedly the first disc to feature both Dolby Vision and HDR10+. I didn't watch it in HDR10+, so I was stuck with Dolby Vision and standard HDR. Immediately, black levels stood out to me. This is a very dark movie with some excellent contrast. Shadow detail is well maintained here with hidden little details found in the darkest corners of the scene. Black levels weren't always perfect because I did see some slight elevation in certain areas. Again, it was nothing that took me out of the presentation. Spectral highlights are some of the brightest I've seen in a while. There just seems to be random shooting flames that pop out of nowhere and they can get blindingly bright. Peak highlights from fire, candles, reflections, simply pop off the screen. The color palette is full of warm orange and reddish tones, contrasting with a ton of dark backdrops. This isn't exactly a vivid colorful movie, but what color there is does catch your eye. Audio is done in Dolby Atmos, and very much like the video quality, this is a house shaker. Bass response digs low. The truck heist in chapter 15 will be felt throughout the house. Atmos height effects weren't in constant use, but when they do pop up, you'll definitely know what's up, literally. The arrow fight in chapter 2 kicks off the movie with some great front to back and overhead movement as arrows whiz around every channel. Rain and water in chapter 3 might have you checking to see if you're spraying a leak above your head. Ambiance filled the entire soundstage with sounds of leaves rustling, rats running around the room, and echoes throughout the church. The musical score I found was dynamic and bombastic, but it did sound a little like Batman Begins at times. Hmm. Dialogue remains centrally focused without issues. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 9. This is an awesome mixture from delicate sounds to loud and aggressive. Atmos height effects kicked in when it was called for, and bass response was demo worthy. This is a go-to Atmos track. For video, I'm thinking 9 as well. There's some great black levels with a high contrast image, and colors do pop. I saw a little softness to the image, but it is cinematic looking. Now should you pick up this disc? I think if you like great visuals and stunning sound, I'd grab it. The movie on the other hand, I'll leave some links down below if you want to pick up this disc. If you guys have seen it, let us know what you thought about the audio and video quality. Follow us on social media, and if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content and giveaways, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.